You are listening to In the Moment on South Dakota Public Broadcasting. I am your host today, Lori Walsh. We are broadcasting live from the Leo P. Flynn Gallery inside SDPB Studios in downtown Sioux Falls. It is a beautiful East River day, and tonight at the Levitt at 7 p.m. Central Time. And remember, SDPB does live stream the Levitt concert, so if you can't make it downtown Sioux Falls, you can always tune in to the live stream um, it's Fiddles and Friends, and as a special treat, the entire group has made it into the Leo P. Flynn Gallery, <laughs> and I'm so happy to have them all back. We're going to start with a song right away, one song, and then we'll chat with the band a little bit. You can meet um, all the musicians, so I'm going to let you take it away. Fiddles and Friends. <laughs> you're just tuning in, if you are just tuning in, we've got Fiddles and Friends, um, all maybe 10 of you in our Leo P. Flynn Gallery in Sioux Falls. We're going to get to know our fiddlers first. To my left here is the great Owen DeYoung, who worked for SDPB as our classical music host um, and was the first person to really welcome me to South Dakota Public Broadcasting. And uh, you told me not to sing on the air. I remember that still. I never have. And <laughs> and, you <laughs> and you gave me so much wisdom um, and, and assistance. So welcome back to the space. Well, Lori, the honor is mine. Tell me a little bit how long you and Tom and Kenny, for example, have, have known each other. Well, I think I've known Kenny probably the longest in this group. We met in college, and then 
the rest of them kind of fell into line and I don't know I I could run down the whole list but it'd take me a while to <laughs> think spell. about them all so um this getting back together then how long has it been since you've all played together We've got the band back together um, I'm going to walk over here to Tom and uh, ask him that question if I step over chords and try not to uh, get hurt here. Yeah. Tom, getting Hello. back together. Hi. <laughs> Tom Schaefer. Yeah, well, we, uh, I think we, we played last Christmas. We had a Christmas show which with different material, of course, most of the Christmas stuff. But we've been getting together almost yearly since, I think, uh, maybe 2014 or maybe we did one show in Brandon a long time ago I think that was 2010 so does, so does everything snap back in place right away or is it a whole <laughs> Kenny what's the on-ramp like to getting back the together on-ramp <laughs> is, a, is a long ramp for me um, we just got to work we've done this stuff before but uh, there's new songs we bring in and we just have to review you know and just get the gel back together and it doesn't take that long but it takes uh, one rehearsal for sure how much of the rehearsal is storytelling and catching up, and how much is actually playing music? Well, storytelling lasts, that's later, and we stayed up all night, Tom and I did, and not all night, but anyway, uh, you have to kind of hold it in, because there's a lot of moving parts in this group, and, and so we just kind of kind of keep on the, on the mark to get it done, you know, in an afternoon, so... That's remarkable. Yeah. We're going to let you play maybe two songs in a row without stopping. You've met our fiddlers, Owen DeYoung, Tom Schaefer, and Kenny Putnam. Some more music, um, and then we'll meet the rest of the band. Take it away.
This next song I'd like just like to mention. This was actually written by Kenny Putnam and the Red Willow Band. And uh, so we'd like to do it for you now. It's called uh, You Can't Get There From Here. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> the man how to get there and all he said was move along you're a long long way from where you're going just a few short steps from where you belong Take your time with what you're doing. You gotta move along at your own speed. Well, you might not reach that destination, but if you're happy, well, there'll be no need. Summer in South Dakota, and if you're just tuning in, this is In the Moment, Fiddles and Friends in the house with us. I'm standing next to the queen herself, Kaya Bondi. I'm so happy to see you, and an original song written by Kenny Putnam and the Red Willow Band. What is it like to play music with your friends, your husband, I mean, your family, really, all these years? Well, playing music with my husband is um, a blessing and something that we have done all of our lives since the day we met. Singing a song like You Can't Get There From Here from the Red Willow Band is something I grew up with as a kid. Sorry, Kenny, I'm that much younger than you. I'm sorry. But I played that album till I wore it out. And so being able to just sing the harmonies on that song is, yeah, it's a dream come true. I love it. I love it. We are going to take a break. We're going to come back with more from Fiddles and Friends. You're on listener-supported SDPB Radio. And welcome back to In the Moment on South Dakota Public Broadcasting. I'm Lori Walsh. We have a wonderful audience in the Leo P. Flynn Gallery today as part of our SDPB studios in downtown Sioux Falls. We are right across the street from Levitt at the Falls, where tonight at 7 p.m., Fiddles and Friends will take the stage, and they are here taking our stage. Um, 
today I'm just so delighted. And Mike Connor is, we've been introducing the musicians uh, throughout the hour, so Mike is standing to my left if you're listening on the radio. He's wearing a Badger Clark hat. And uh, I've been writing about Mike and Boyd Bristow and other people who have been generous enough to talk to me about their music and about the arts in South Dakota for a long time. A little bit later in the hour, we're gonna hear from the chair of the National Endowment for the Arts. And Mike, I asked her about living an artful life. And when I look at you, I think of the connections and the other artists that you've supported and played with over the year, years. What are the arts, what is the arts community like in South Dakota, especially um, after the pandemic, the kind of changes that we saw and the creativity that you're seeing now? Well, um, you know, what pandemic? <laughs> we, <laughs> we kept on playing. We didn't necessarily play in, in nightclubs or anything like that, but we did this show, I believe. Uh, and um, so, you know, it's just our, our arts community here and our music community in South Dakota, pretty close. You know, we know a lot of the people, the younger people even, and um, we just have kept on doing it. and. Here, the, here we are. Uh, here I am with uh, one of my very best friends and just making music with him. It's just wonderful. Some of that footage, you're in the smaller booth, you're wearing masks. I was broadcasting from home right. during that time. <laughs> so we were tuning in and we were making it work in that yeah, way. That's right. Um, we're going to get to some more music. I'm going to have Larry Rohr, who's in the back row on bass. Most of you know him from South Dakota Public Broadcasting and his long career here and the South Dakota Hall of Fame um, induction, which he gets a, a, a this season. Congratulations. Uh, Larry, tell us what you're gonna play next and a little bit about how this band has traveled together, perhaps what it's been like to hit the road. Uh, obviously, logistically, it must be a huge challenge, but. Well, to get along, we have to travel separately. <laughs> <laughs> no. But actually, we the originally kind of got together, it was like in 2010, it was a fundraiser for South Dakota Honor Flight. Then the idea came together, and every, each of the fiddlers brought their own band, but then played together, and then it was later on with the inspiration from the friends, well, why not reassemble the group, feature these three guys playing instrumentals and as uh, on the breaks with the vocalists. I mean, it's uh, playing three fiddles together is kind of a rare thing. They each have their own style, they know each other, and they're just really, really good. They so, are. yeah, that's kind of how it started, and then about once a year, sometimes twice, we because there are probably two dozen bands represented between all the people here, so it's a matter of logistics of whether it'll work. So, right. Give but us next, a, what? one or two songs, and go ahead. I'll leave, yeah, I'll leave uh, it with you. Mike, Mike's going to sing here. That you better act right. Bowman Daddy's gone to Louisville. He'll be back tonight. Got a new wagon and a good set of mules. We're gonna move to Texas. We just waiting on you. Bowman's Daddy, he pulls up in the yard. Says, pack up your lines, kids. It's getting too hard. Kentucky's all right, but there's too many people. Well, just the other day, I thought I saw a church steeple. But Coleman says, Dad, don't you worry about me. I want to stay in Kentucky till the day I be. I want to drink that sour mash. I want to raise that man. I got me a one with fox red hair. Got me moving west since the day you got married. Getting off of that wagon, Daddy, I'm too old to be carried. Gonna stay in Kentucky, where the bluegrass grows. Gonna play it all night down the new kind of road.
Jim's daddy says, what this world coming to? Young people these days, they're just as stubborn as me. I can't make him go, he's too old for that. It's that damn old fiddle and that bowler hat. Well, Coleman's mama, she says, let the boy stay. He's been raised up solid, and he can find his own way. But as for me, honey, I'm with you. I always thought Kentucky was just passing through. Well, Coleman's little sister, she started to cry. Daddy shook his head for the very last time. Coleman's mama says somebody's got to do it. Well, it wouldn't be no Kentucky if you didn't stick to it. Coleman, Coleman Bob sat on the porch of that cabin. Watched them all go to Texas in a covered wagon. Then he pulls out his fiddle and he rosined up his bow and played a little tune. Mike get his mandolin plugged back in here. I only know a few Patsy songs, something like 27. So uh, this is probably her best known song. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just like we used to do I'm always walking After midnight Searching for you I walk for miles Along the highway Well, that's just my way
much love. Thank you so much for that. Kaya Bondi on vocals and percussion today. Our fiddlers, Owen DeYoung, Tom Schaefer, Kenny Putnam on mandolin and guitar, Mike Connor in the back row, Larry Rohr on bass, Al Raymond on the drum set, Boyd Bristow and Brian Bondi and Nick Schwayback all on guitars. This is Fiddles and Friends, and I'm so grateful that you came today. Come back to the Levitt tonight, right across the street from SDPB Studios in downtown Sioux Falls, Levitt at the Falls. 7 p.m. they begin. Maggie, in the meantime, opens up for them. If you haven't heard Jeff Paul's band, it's amazing. You will have a great time. Food trucks, SDPB will be down there. I'll be there. Uh, stop by our booth and say hello. We're going to take a break. We'll continue with the show. We're going to meet the National Endowment for the Arts chair, who is in South Dakota right now, out West River, and uh, talk about a fashion show and the All My Relations Festival, which is also at the Levitt this weekend. So much happening. We'll go to the rodeo after the break on listener-supported SDPB Radio. <laughs> 